Hello everyone, thanks for stopping back again. Another project, this time upgrading the microwave. So here we have a early 2000s model Samsung. Door doesn't even open. Causing some issues, it's at end of life. So looking out there, very, very little to pick from for a confined space like this, where we're mounting it. Um, I settled on the Greystone, looks like a great unit. This is a combo microwave convection oven, but it is a little bit bigger. It is not plug and play. So I'm seeing we're gonna have to do some custom cutting. And if you've watched my channel in the past, you know nothing is easy with me. So I see doing some custom cutouts here and who knows what else we're gonna get into. But first step, taking the old microwave out and we'll see what's in the cubby hole all right okay four screws and microwave is out so what do we have to work with here good news is this piece right here we can cut as needed and there's nothing behind this because we're going to be coming over we're going to be coming over here quite a bit and we're going to be coming up here quite a bit over here, we only have so much room before we get into this piece of wood here that's the frame that they built for that. That's something to consider. This up here is just a piece of... Yeah, it's just a piece of thin wood. I almost cut it with uh, scissors. So that can come off easily. It's probably just held in with staples. So luckily... It's just wood. We can we can cut that pretty easily. I think we'll be all right. We've got power back here. This cable here, I'm going to want to do something with it because I think we're going to be hitting it. So what I'll probably do is break that wire tie and then That'll loosen this cable up and I'll push it flush against the wall. And gets it out of the way. These cables here I will also find a new home for. I don't like these just flopping around here. No problem with that. These cables up here, same deal. I will mount those probably to the ceiling. I just don't want them by this exhaust vent. So we're going to... I've got some cable ties. We're gonna we're gonna cable tie these up. But this shouldn't be too bad. This is just wood. It is not PVC like the last project with that sink. I can I can manage some wood cutting. My real concern is this side right here. Because I cannot get my jigsaw on this. So we're gonna have to figure out a new way to cut that piece of wood. Right there. I can go here, I can go here, but how do I cut that? That is going to take some jimmying. Hmm, yeah. We may be looking on Amazon for a, a saw that'll get in there. All right, so that's what we're looking at. All right, little update here. So, a lot of prep done. Went ahead using the jigsaw, cut out, eh, what, inch and a half there? About another three quarters of an inch, half inch on this side. Cleaned everything out. I moved all these cables. I tied them up so they're out of the way. Move this cable here. This is the cable power. Move this as far out of the way as I could. I might get another strap and strap that to the wall there. Right now, I'm just waiting for some insulation to come in from Amazon. Uh, I've got some concerns about the heat coming off convection ovens on the back. I know they put off a lot of heat. And this is going to be right up against this cable. So I was a little concerned about that. So what I did was off Amazon, I bought some uh, heat shield um, insulation. 
I'm just going to put heat shield insulation against that cable and just kind of wrap it up <laughs> as much as I can against the top. Just shield all that from the heat. But it, there's no warnings anywhere. But uh, this space is small. <laughs> it was not meant for that size of a, well, microwave or convection oven. What was pulled out of there was a lot smaller than what I'm putting in. So I have to take that in consideration. But I just want to make sure that that is protected from the heat as best as I can. But anyway, that's this step. Tomorrow, heat shield's going in. All right, next step. Heat shield is in. I couldn't be happier. That, that puts my mind at ease right there. And what this is, is this aluminized heat shield adhesive. Of course, made in China. 12 by 24. Right off Amazon. But they're everywhere. I mean... I'm sure maybe aluminum foil would have worked, <laughs> but I wanted something a little more thicker than that. But this will work just fine. So now the next step is we're ready to go. So let me uh, put the microwave in. And then the last step is just putting the cover plate on. All right. Would you look at that? All right. Big improvement. Uh, going from that little microwave to a nicer convection microwave. I must say this is uh, this will work. This will work. How long did it take me to do this one? Start to finish, I probably have an hour and a half in this one. Not bad. It was just trying to figure out the space that I have and how to make this fit. That's all it is. Real nice unit. Greystone. Real nice. So this is the, does it say the model number? Hmm. Does not say. Anyway, there we go. I got some cleaning to do in here yet. Not sure what all this tape's doing in here. But we'll get this tape off. And get it ready for some use. So the Greystone off Amazon, convection microwave for an RV, highly recommended. Hello everyone, quick video. So I was getting ready to throw away the old microwave from the RV and just having a look at the power cable. And look what I see here. That looks chewed. <laughs> or it was sitting on top of the mic. The microwave might have been sitting on top of this. What do you guys think? I was going to say it was melted. But there is clearly exposed copper. It almost looks like it's chewed. I have no idea. What do you all think? This was up in the cabinet. I did not see any signs or remnants of mice. But, huh, never a dull moment. Something to watch out for. That sure looks like uh, it was chewed. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching.